2017, when I got my braces on, and I was a young kid, 16 year old, going with the national team. I was happy to be there. You know, just uh, just happy to play for my country. You know, definitely thought about the World Cup a couple of times after 2018, and when we didn't make it to the Hex, it was it was devastating. I hear some people on the side saying, "Oh, you guys are guaranteed 2026, though. If you don't make it for the 2022, we scratch all that noise." They listen to that. We focus on what we had to do, and yeah, here we go. We're in 2022 World Cup. Another sports story we are watching. This is Canadian soccer superstar Alfonso Davies. He's now sidelined with a heart muscle inflammation stemming from a COVID-19 infection. I was actually in my game room playing FIFA, and then I got the call saying I have COVID. I was like, all right. So I, I served my time in isolation and quarantine. I don't want to yell because the neighbor might be mad. I have finally gotten my 99 card. Then I went back to training, and then they told me how to do a scan. Then I got the news. I think when I got that news, I couldn't believe it. Honestly, I, the one that scared me the most is the doctors. They know how long I was going to be out. I think that's, that's, that's the one that scared me the most. You know, they didn't have a time frame. They said from six to eight to one year. I was in a dark place, and my mind started racing. It's just the end of my career. It's just, it's just it for me. You know, I was thinking about you know everything that I could have done on the pitch or I should have done on the pitch, you know. But I mean, you know, yeah, my body, you know, recovered well. Fought the myocarditis and, yeah, you know, as time was going on, you know, the the, the process of me getting coming back was, was exhausting. You know, every time I go to do a MRI scan, you know, at a ultrasound, they say another week, another week, another week. My mind was racing. I was crying, didn't know what to do. You know, I didn't, didn't want to leave my house. I think the first two weeks, I didn't want to see anybody because I just wanted to be by myself. These guys, they rose to occasion. You know, they, they showed that what people are saying, you know, the teams of Alfonso Davies, it's not true. Fraser goes long, pins one for David. Look at that control, Jonathan David! Special! You know, we have players on this team that can play football as a collective, and they went out there and did the job. Watching that game is a, is a moment that you know, we dream about as kids, making it to the World Cup with your, with your country, and. And me being part of that, you know, wasn't in the game, but I was on the sideline cheering my team on, and yeah, I was really emotional, and I, and I'm and I'm really happy, really grateful, really thankful that you know these boys went out there and, and finished the job. Back across, you can Book the flight to Qatar. Are we going? Fun fact: I wasn't supposed to be on Twitch for that game, but. Where we going, man? I was just supporting the team. I dreamt of this moment. My football fan, I guess, came out of me and my, my emotions started flaring. <laughs> my dreams about to come true. My dreams about to come true. You know, to see all the emotions on the boys' face made me feel like I was there as well. So I was really proud of that moment. We have players on this team that, you know, will, will be there for you. Number one, Richie will be there for you anytime there's a fight on the pitch. They say Canadians are too nice, yo, but we're not. We want to show down the pitch, play hard. We're, we're ready to rise to the occasion. We're in the Maple Leaf, walking out to the, to the crowd in a walk-up with your brothers. It's going to be an incredible feeling. <laughs> 